Well, hello folks, I'm L.A. Little, and this is your daily Neo T.A. Wrap. Where we take a look at these markets, we do it from a neoclassical perspective each time, asking ourselves just one question, and that is, what happened today? What does it tell us about the coming ones? I do this show four times a week, every Monday through Thursday, broadcast at or before 10 o'clock Eastern Time, archived on YouTube. It's under the channel, L.A. Little. If you haven't subscribed, you may want to. Just reach up here in the right-hand corner, click the subscribe button. Each time I push content, you'll get notification. As far as what did happen today, it's the same thing, folks. Nothing's changed. Up, up, up. Russell up 0.46. You got about a third of a percent elsewhere. You had the uh, Dow up half a percent. Overseas, it was all up pretty much. Gold got wiped out today, uh, down 20-something by the end of the day. Uh, and... Uh, Pretty big, pretty big drop. And uh, what else happened here? Silver was down as well. I actually want to talk a little about gold um, as we go along in the show here because it's really the only thing that was that interesting today. If we look at the markets, not very much interesting things here, just up, right? Continuation of the up. We've seen little pauses along the way, but outside of that, folks, it's just take it up, take it up, take it up, right? You get you get a little pullback, and then you get a push, and you get a push, and that's exactly what we got again yesterday and today, extenuation. 2106 was the high yesterday. Today's close 2109, so you're over it. You get over it. You have a little bit more volume. You get over the swing point high over here yesterday. Just trying to take it to the highs. If you pull it over, this thing is almost at the highs now. It's making that uh, somewhat ludicrous run straight to the highs, uh, uh, defeating all the probabilities uh, that typically uh, would have stopped such a move. 21.32.82 is the high. You're sitting here at 21.09. So you're you're within 20. So it's, uh, you're within a percent of the top. That's that's how big this run has been. Uh, looking elsewhere, let's look at the uh, NASDAQ. If we go over the NASDAQ, pop it up, same thing. It's over the highs. Look at it on a weekly, and it's over that uh, breakdown bars high and also getting close to its swing point high, 52.32 roughly. We're sitting at uh, 51.45. So that was about 2% off its highs. NDX, over the highs already. NDX has already gone over the highs, way over the highs, extends again today, no pullback over the highs, extending away from them, nothing but strong. And the Russell, the Russell got it in gear again. Now this is three days out of four, I believe, that the Russell has outperformed, actually four out of five. And uh, by outperforming, I mean it did better than the indexes either on the upside or the downside. And another push today pushes it up. Now, the only thing that Russell did, and this is the only thing that's interesting with respect to the indexes, is it tested the swing point high and failed. Top of that was uh, roughly 418. You did 427, so you actually had more. So you go over it, you test it, you fail, you fall back, and you have more volume. So what does that tell you? It's going to try again. And so that's the indexes. If we look over at the world market, same same boat. Uh, nothing's different, right? It's just a bunch of ants coming up the hill, and they're just overwhelming everything that's in their way. If we look at the DAX, uh, the DAX was um, nothing special, but the DAX actually tried to push a little bit higher. Uh, ended up uh, failing, uh, but it didn't get over the highs, I don't think. 97, yeah. So it's just an inside day. If we look at the uh, French market, I think the French market actually got higher. It did get higher. That top was uh, 49.36.85 yesterday, and well, that's interesting. So that one actually went over 49.36.85. Oh, no, didn't get over it. So it's just slightly underneath it, and you got that swing point high hanging out there with more volume. So that looks to try and test it tomorrow. And uh, I don't see anything stopping uh, that or anything else at this particular point. If we go over and look at Hong Kong, a little bit of a pullback. Um, the Aussie uh, market was up off of uh, some news uh, from the uh, central bank saying that, you know, if they need to ease, they will ease. So you get a takeaway bar. That one's probably going to try to push higher tonight. And uh, really nothing else much going on over there. Uh, so Asia just kind of hanging. Uh, Europe's doing the same thing. 
or actually Europe's pushing just like we are. And um, same thing in the U.S. If we pop over to the ox markets, I want to pop into gold here because gold really has an interesting setup in that you've got some huge divergence between the gold market, the silver market, and the gold stocks. Now let's take the gold to start with. So gold makes a big push to the downside, right? And it's just been doing it day in and day out now for, well, pretty much, you know, this whole period here, but then especially the last five days after that key, you know, bearish engulfing reversal, tries to, to do a bullish retest regen, fails, gets underneath that, and now it's all the way down here looking at all these swing point lows again. So that's that's the gold market, right? Now the thing that's interesting about it is that you know the push back down has come on nothing. In other words, you haven't had any volume expansion on the way down. You had some volume expansion up here. Of course, we've been seeing that on these spikes, and that's mostly probably short covering that's that's taking place on those. But now you've got this escalation to the downside. Not much volume escalation though. And if you go look at other things within this group and in particular if we go look at the silver market silver itself tries to come down and actually gets under back over has less volume coming into this big bar testing into it silver looks like it wants to flip around and try to head back higher and then going back to the gold market this time looking at the gold stocks gold stocks themselves won't come down right they try to push down they try to push they won't they just won't come down this market looks like it's fixing to flip around and go back the other way. Gold itself probably the same. And so, you know, you've got huge divergence here. More than likely, you're going to see it flip around and head back uh, from whence it came. Another thing that was in the cards today, you know, and I'm, I'm searching for clues as to when this market might want to take a break, was the bond market. The bond market actually hit its projection on the way down. Uh, if you if you go back here and you, you put an ABCD structure off this high, so if we take this high, go down, right, and then take it back up to its highest point, which is about there, and then pull it down again, right, it's right at its projection level. And so you, you have just a little bit more to go here. So this is getting close to where it wants to try to project to, coming in this big bar, the top of that bar uh, looks to be the target. Uh, probably hit that tomorrow so you're getting extended on your bonds on the downside of course there's nothing big here we're talking small numbers but you're kind of getting extended here and it looks like it's going to try to find some support you've got gold trying to flip around you've got commodities in general even with a strong dollar not wanting to go down so what, what gives right is this market just going to continue higher well so far we don't have anything anywhere on the indexes to tell us uh, that it's not and if we look at the sectors themselves you know you've got a few little inklings again in some of these sectors you know where you go over back under like here on the XLI that says hey you know we may get some sort of a pullback here but it's going to take more than a couple sectors uh, to pull this market back you need a failure somewhere on the market with lower volume not like the Russell today to tell you that you're going to get something like that and right now you just don't have it so what does that mean it means this market's going to try to push again so if you're looking for a turn if you're looking for a pullback to buy you're just going to have to wait it's still not happening uh, these markets look to push uh, one more day now you do have all the Fed speakers coming out over the next few days there's 12 of them this week I think you had one today you got Yellen tomorrow Draghi was speaking tonight in Europe I didn't see anything on the uh, the euro after hours so I guess he didn't say anything surprising uh, but uh, that you know if there is a wild card out there that is it uh, you know you could get something out of the Fed speakers that does a shoe in so to speak on the December rate hike and uh, you know if they want to if they want to broadcast that now and put that out there on the table and see what the reaction is this looks like a good place to do it they just come out of a fed meeting last week now they're going to get out there hit the trail and tell everybody what they're going to do next and uh, you know if there's any coordination in terms of their comments and they all start talking that way 
then we'll finally see if this market cares about a rate hike or not. So far, it really hasn't. But then again, so far, nobody's known the Fed's hand, so to speak. And, uh, you know, if they, if they really make it clear that that's what they're going to do, uh, then we'll see if the market has a reaction or not. That's it for tonight, folks. Another short show. You got a market that just wants to go higher. Until next time, have a great one. I'll see you then. Good night.